That would be wonderful. Also, should we need to vacate the room in case of an emergency? There's a door right there that you can go out and one in the back. Could you not go to the bathroom? No, that is the bathroom. Did you go to the bathroom? Debauchery! This 
disgraceful behavior. Oh, my darling Isabella, you poor, sweet, innocent thing. You should come down and eat your flower. You should speak right out. Come, my dear. These are the lovely company. But you know why they're not allowed out? Especially on carnival. I think you should put on the mask and sneak out. I'm sure it would do you some good. Don't you? Well, I, I'm sure my Abrazio is not practicing drunken debauchery or or <laughs> Yes, this yes. is very nearly the best carnival I've ever had. 
We had excellent food. Mm. We danced. Mm. But I have no... Oh, and I have no headache fights. Love. And what is carnival without love? We got my love. Yeah, love. Someone you can hold close. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's right. Um. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Um. Yes. Not like us. Right. <laughs> And all those other cakes that we couldn't afford, so we didn't buy. Right. right. All those places that wouldn't let us in. Well, well, you know, oh. so, so sometimes they are sent us in a way to be able to do their thing a little bit more. But anyway, so I am I am taking to fall in love. Someone here in Ravenna would love a Capitano. Of course. This Capitano, the Capitano Juan, Agrippa, Capitano, Caranzo, Fabrice, Marozzo, Nardes, Devo, the Gianni, the Grazzi, Silver Ears. The greatest, the greatest swordsman in all of Europe. And parts of his Oh, I see my lord's word. Serpent! 
Everybody is wrong, me, and so have you. Oh, my goodness, Rizalina. Oh, she's angry at us. You will never get her married. Oh, I'm sorry, but, you know, Dottore isn't home yet, so Flaminia sent me out to find Flavio and Orazio and bring them back with me. <laughs> you should really come out, Rizalina. So much. Oh, no, you're on carnival. Oh, Flavio. Orazio. <laughs> oh, I am wounded. Richelina, come quickly, please. I have been wounded and I need your assistance. Can't anybody do anything but sell through? Hurry, <laughs> hurry. I could be mortally wounded. Oh, the only pain I feel greater than that in my arm is the pain I feel in my heart. Oh, oh dear. My <laughs> candle went out. I should have put in a new one, but I'm sure I just heard a Rossio. If I can marry him, I would not have to be a servant anymore. <gasps> I think I'm almost sure it's him. Orazio, is that you? Could it be? The voice of my beloved? Yes, it is me, Orazio. <gasps> my beloved, he called me beloved. I knew he liked me. Oh, Orazio, there you are. Oh, it oh. feels so good to hold you at last. Oh, you make my heart break. <gasps> oh! 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 I figured 
this is not a safe place for a child, especially one that has me for a father. And so I sent him packing, and then he's safe there. And that's why I built this tower when we moved here to Ravenna, to keep Isabella safe. Everything's going to be fine. I don't have to worry anymore. That's what money is for. <laughs> Oh, I can't talk to you when you're this drunk. Oh, well, at least get someone to come collect it and pour it. I got. Oh, Papa, not again! again. Just disgracing the family. Well, I stay at home because Francesca never lets me out. We were at home all night reading the lives of the saints. Oh, that's good, Francesca. But the life of the saints, they, they, they set a good example. Like, they no, might be a good example. Die. Yeah, that's terrible. Well, if I had my way, and this last night before Lent, I would be dumping my face full of meat, including sausage. But I was stuck inside. So it is time to go away. That's what happens when you let your daughter out of the house. So I'm going to go inside and caress the stones that make up my tower, and with each one, feel a little bit more superior. Don't pour yourself into bed. Wow, at least I got to go outside today. Good time all week, because I'm always in the tower watching Isabella. Arlequino Capitano. You should have been there. You left too early. You could have seen the glory of the Capitano. Oh, I, I wish I had been there, but I can see it in my mind. Each, there you were, with two or three or ten of Isabella's lovers. There were ten others. Oh, oh ten of them were ten. That's there. right, ten. Each with sharp, pointy oh, swords. So Isabella's many, many lovers. That's right. right. All of them. And they were enraged. And then the other twelve came up behind you. How did you? No, she was there. I only had to slay seven of them. The others oh, yeah, yeah. burned in fear. And then there were the other twenty ran away. Esatto, mm. and so. And oh, now, stranger, I could not help but hear your tale of magnificent swordsmanship. Please, oh, was magnificent. Tell me more. Demonstrate. I would love to see this. If uh, if you just were to pretend that ah. I were one of them. Yeah. Ah. How you them? Please oh, don't stand them. in their place. No, 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 no. Please don't. Don't point that at me. Oh, oh no. Show me your stuff. No, no, no. Put, put that over there. No, no, don't no, no. Sing a line of the song, and you say, Bye, man, bye. 
Overrule. What you need to do is take preventive measures. Ooh, preventive measures. Well, just how this could go out in the streets like the poor two. Uh, <laughs> yes! Not only will she be in the tower, I will put extra locks on the doors. That not what I meant. Not what I meant. <laughs> what, what you should do mm -hmm. is let her get married to somebody that she loves so she won't want to run away and get in trouble. That's all you young people think of. You think everything, the solution to everything is just get married to somebody you love. I'm going to tell you something. I've lived long enough to know that love and marriage have nothing to do with each other. They're, 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 they're they're like sweet meats and regular meats. Sure, they get together sometimes and they talk to each other, but if you have enough of one, you really don't need the other. Yes, but you want to go to church with me tomorrow. 
I am one of the capital of Toronto, of the British Marauds, and I bet the Bobby Gianni Durazzi, Silver E, his Spinetto, the greatest sportsman in all of Europe, and your most devoted lover. Oh! Too friendly! Too friendly! Yes! Uh, <laughs> Please, if, I, if I might hold your hand for just a moment. No, 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 that's quick work. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I think just, just keep your distance on you two. Oh, please. Ah! <laughs> oh, no! It's not it's a no, 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 Just go on! I go on about your business! I just tell you what, clearly you are in a bad mood right now. <laughs> uh, we will um uh let us talk a little bit later. No, no, no more talking! No, 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 I'm 
like breathing and starting to get a little choked up. Oh, my pulse rate is up. Oh, this is terrible. I have to do something. I have to say something. I have to do something to make me feel better about myself. I, I, I need to get her. I don't want to be married around her. I need to get her. my choosing. And what I need to actually to go and get the doctor. I have some legal business to discuss with you. I knew you'd see sense. We have to write the wedding contract. Hello, Dutari! Ah! Ah! Oh, my head! Why are you You're so loud? Thing. This odyssey continues and now I am banging my head against Charybdis, the crashing rocks. How? How is this going to continue? Just let me die! It's the safest way! That's the out of that, Corey. You can't die yet. I need your help. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, yes, yes. How, how may I help? Well, Isabella is a young woman. Yes, yes, I, I, I imagine that's true. Magical, parental age. And she's having thoughts about love. So I need to stop that immediately and get her married off. Oh, well, something uh, like marriage to end love. I need to marry up someone who's safe, who's trustworthy, who has the potential of making sure that I have a cheap lawyer I can get cheaply because he's a family member. Graziano, please marry my daughter. Oh, what? Pantalone! Pantalone! That, that I should marry Isabella? Isabella, Bella, meaning beautiful and beautiful, being like sweet meat. Oh. And, and regular meat. And, and you know, sweet meat, says Aristotle wrote in his dialogue about the pancreas, it is a, 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 a sweet thing that, that, that helps you grow in, in many ways. Oh, oh, and, oh, and, yes, yes, of course. I will gladly marry your daughter, Isabella, and then... What's after that? It's been a while, Bella. Oh, oh, yes, yes! And... No, that wasn't it. <laughs> yes, I will marry your daughter. Good, let's seal the deal. <laughs> Uh, but there's one thing I've learned today, is that one cannot trust the validity of a servant's thoughts. Well, that's somebody else then. That's the next oh. person who comes along. Arachio! Oh. Arachio! Oh, Rubia! Rubia! Have you seen Arachio? We need you to adjudicate a question of philosophy. What would you say if we told you that Isabella is going to marry the Natore? Oh, about a philosophy. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, really, what would you say? You really want to do that? Yes! What did you do? Why do you think this is my fault? Of course you're fault. You're the servant. You know everything. <laughs> no, this pantalone is a terrible idea. Now tell him it's a terrible idea. I do not have terrible ideas. This is a terrible idea. Thank you. <laughs> I will not be mocked like this. I, I will have my way. I will, I will, I, I will refuse to listen to anyone who does not agree with me. How will you stay awake? <laughs> Why do you want me to stay awake when you come to dinner? I is. Well, this is awful. Oh, I don't need to be awake, but, but, and look, this is a, a point of, of fact. Um, Isabella is your only heir, is no, she? No, no, she isn't. Oh. Oh. All right, yes. I have a son, and then born the heir. Well, I sent him off to Sicily when he was but a wee child. No bigger than that. Oh. You see, now imagine this child being sent off to Sicily to live with his or her uncle, and uh, I said, oh, like, don't have to worry about such things. Oh, yes. yes. You won't have to worry about such and, things. And he's clearly gone and, and never coming back. So, so yes, yes, uh, wonderful. But then Isabella is, practically speaking, your only. I, I feel oddly sad at the thought of Fabrizio being gone and, and 
never coming back, but well, all the more reason your daughter should be married. You're right. In fact, we should tell her. Oh, I suppose, but. Oh, yeah, I, I better go tell her. I'll warn her. I'll go tell her. <laughs> oh, Pantalone, what an occasion this will be. Our two families united at. I have a lovely young man at the inn who's traveled from afar. He wishes to speak with him. Pantalone, I'm sure that perhaps he would like to speak with you. This could be the business deal. Someone looking for a Venetian could already be someone who needs their money taken from them. He did say that. I'll go get Oh, and a Oh, I thought a was marriage and a business deal and, and, and now a need for a new contract. The terrible thing has happened. Isabella is gone. I said this would happen the moment I took my eye off of her. And now she's missing and who knows where she's gone. And now she can't get back. Oh. I knew I was brilliant, and I've sold everything! <laughs> oh, Pantalone! We got a terrible thing, and which is not my fault. That's how it is. <gasps> You've lost Paolo, the newest member of my Strudo family? <laughs> Aristotle's The Comics has been found? <laughs> My bride, my, 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 I don't know about you. 
you, but I think a rod here would be a <laughs> so now that Act Two is over, you should feel free to do that. Go to the bathroom, do whatever you need to do, stretch your legs. When you hear the song start, you'll know Act Three is about to begin. Destiny is sure. 
will not. I will be dead. Because Horatio, you will, you will not stand up to the sword of the Capitano. Ah, oh, yes, uh, excellent. Very good. Ah, Very ah, good. ah, ah.
Are you talking about me? Oh, Flavio. I don't see anyone else here. Flavio, Marazio, you're talking terrible. And you're a young man as well, so it's your fault as well. Horatio <laughs> drew a sword on me. What? That's ridiculous. Horatio would not do that. He drew a sword on me because I was going to marry Isabella off the back of Graziano. Oh, well, that makes sense. Of course, he has so much love for Isabella. Obviously, he'd want to protect her. But then she sided with him over me. That's true love. That's insanity. That can't be. I, she's my daughter. When young people are in love, they're willing to stab old people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how love works. Oh. Isabella, I was, I'm very disappointed in you. You worried me something sick. And you were in your tower. Yes, you locked me in that tower. And I was there alone and miserable. And the rod still came. And he went Oh. And I fell in love. That's deeply in love. And then he wronged me. Oh, oh wicked Orazio. So I have escaped the tower. And I am going to have my own adventure. And I'm going to do I'm going to do him. Please don't. I don't want you to do this. Please don't do all your friends. I'm dead. Dead. I'm not sure what will happen after that. But if I I do not give you my permission to make your own choice. I don't care about your permission anymore. Oh, please. Then just see what I do to your permission. Ugh. Take that. It's all your fault anyway. Look <laughs> at that. That's a lot of troubles that you have, right? <laughs> She's going to do all this. She's still going after you with a sword, Isabella, going and she's getting going to, herself killed. She's going to die! You would hate to have to solve that problem. That's, that's real bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Please, make sure she doesn't die. Talk to Horatio. Talk to anyone. I don't care. I don't want her to die. I'll, 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 all right, all right. I, I hate to see an incredibly wealthy merchant cry instead of paying me to solve his problems. So I will help you, dear friend Pantalone. Oh, thank you. I will. Yes. Well, thank you for. Uh, this is final. Final rods here. Talk some sense into him and tell him that this is all a misunderstanding. We'll work it out somehow. I just, whatever it takes to keep my daughter alive. All right, I'll do it. Somehow, I will keep your daughter alive. Oh, thank you. That was my own fault, too. I, I should have stood up more. I cannot like, find. Oh, well. Fine, I'll do it. I will be firm and I will be, I will be. You will not go away this time until you've heard what I've said. I uh, I do do not duel. I forbid you to duel. There will be no dueling in the streets. I, I don't want you. You will not draw a sword, and I have said so, and therefore you must do it. <laughs> she seems happy, but all the wrong ways. I don't know how to read this. <laughs>
Uh, oh, there you are. It. The messenger. Yes, the messenger of love. The messenger of betrayal. My message for you comes from Isabella, and it is on the tip of my sword. She said you're here with a sword? No, I came here with a sword. No. Well, my, my message is that as a betrayer, you should die on my sword. I should thrust it through you, because you have been untrue to her. I have done no such thing. This is all just a misunderstanding. Yeah, of course that's what you say. I don't believe a word of it. No, you are a betrayer. You are, you are bound to die. God is my witness. You will die on my sword now. Very well. You ready? Where is Isabella? Wait, wait, I will wait, fight wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, in the spirit of our new international accord, I must urge you to pause a moment, Capitano, because uh, this situation is more complex than either of you realize. Oh. This is just the first of many steps in a complicated brilliant plan that I have to bring all of this to a happy conclusion. Isabella is a man! Okay, no, what? What? Isabella is a man! Isabella! She went inside with Flaminia! And then there were clothes! And then it took a... And then the man! Isabella is a man! Oh, is a man? man? I, 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 I have to tell you that um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to marry her off to someone else. Ah, well, that makes sense. Because when Plato talks about sweet beets, Plato <laughs> says there is a universal archetype which is unlike the regular beets in many, many ways. That door right there is no time! Your daughter is inside with all the meat she can handle! That's what it's like, that meat?
will help me because of your stupid truce with the Capitano. We're an international accord. Oh. And <laughs> well, I really just despise you all together, so I'm not. <laughs> there you are. Truce be down. Ju, see, I have found the real disobey. She has promised to marry. <gasps> if I kill you, so I am sorry, but I have to kill this man. Only if he's unfaithful. Oh, conditions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, yes, 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 yes. But uh, it's, it's clear that he's looking at him, look at him. He's clearly unfaithful. <laughs> Isabella, my love, I have always been faithful to you. What you heard after Carnival was just a misunderstanding. I was just flirting with Francesquina so she would let Flaminia out of the house and hang out with my friend Flavio, but none of that's relevant now because Flaminia is in love with Fabrizio. I have been faithful to you. I'm sorry for hurting you, and if you cannot forgive me, I shall fall on the Capitano's sword. Ah, finally! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank I do, Isabella. You have inspired an entire book of my unpublished poetry. <laughs> <laughs> then if you truly love me and have been faithful to me, I love you too. Oh. <laughs> Isabella, will you marry me? Oh! Uh, yes. so what do you say? You almost marry a Spaniard? <laughs> I don't look so bad now, do I? Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> My mistress is getting married. That means we're going to need more servants in the house. And oh, I'm going to have to make a whole lot of cakes. Ooh, cakes. Well, perhaps, perhaps if, if you were really mean it when you said you'd like to marry me, oh, you great. could help in our house with the touring pays every other week. <laughs> we could start a collection. Ooh. We could name this one Paolo. <laughs> that one's fine. The, the, the Capitano always said that marriage is what happened if you didn't get out of town fast. <laughs> but I, I think he may be mistaken. Cakes. Oh, yes, and cakes. Ooh, and cakes. Yeah. And cakes. Capitano, Jim. it's been great with you following you around, Jim. but I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get married. Can I hold your stick? You <laughs> I have been beaten by pay and cake. <laughs> Who would have thought an international accord would leave both of us impoverished? <laughs> but as I said, we, the two of us, we can face anything. You and I, we have strength, we have brio. Yes. Yes. And I suggest that we now face a couple of bubbles of wine. Why, gentlemen, gentlemen? The best wine you can have is right this way, and my right dear, of course, she'll come with me. And we can drink on Petalona's tab, because I saved his daughter's life. Oh, let's go! <laughs> 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 yes, I get a little something from her. <laughs> Petalone, what a day. What a day! Oh. There are going to be three weddings tonight. Oh, I have to pay for all of them. <laughs> but, but, it's Lent, and sweet meats are expensive, but sweet vegetables, they're fairly modest. A Lenten wedding is the cheapest wedding of a year! <laughs> <laughs> Hooray for that! <laughs>